is yellow moong dal blood sugar friendly this is part 1 of a series where i'm testing how different pulses affect my blood sugar to find the best options for pcos and insulin resistance today i'm having 40 grams of yellow moong dal cooked with just a little bit of ghee i'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor so let's check my readings after a few hours so here's what my cgm recorded my blood sugar rose by 53 mg per dl and returned to baseline in around 2 hours With insulin resistance my goal is to keep my post meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2 to 3 hours. In this case the spike was a little higher than ideal but the return to baseline was quick and within target. So why did this happen? Around 60 to 65% of calories in moong dal come from carbs and about 30% from protein. So even though it has a good amount of protein it's still mainly a high carb food. That said The carbs in lentils are complex and digest more slowly than grains like wheat and rice leading to a comparatively smaller spike. So should you avoid dal for glucose management? Not at all. Dals are healthy and packed with fiber, protein and minerals. Just use them to replace other carbs like rice or roti and pair with more protein rich foods like paneer and fiber rich veggies for better balance. In the coming videos, I'll be testing my glucose readings with other commonly eaten dals to compare how they impact my blood sugar. Let me know what you think in the comments below.